Hey now, good morning. Well, last night was interesting. So, uh, we, I crawled into the sack, 0.7 crawled into her giddy up, and uh, everything was fine until about 2.30, the winds started picking up. And they were calling for some winds, nothing too serious. Three o'clock, I could have charged admission to lay in my hammock and see what it's like to ride a roller coaster laying down. That sucker was rocking and rolling all night, the rest of the night. And then, trying to pack things up, if you let go of your quilt, your socks, your thermal layer, whatever, it's gone. It was blowing pretty hard. I heard a couple branches fell, fall. Uh, nothing fell around us, which whew, the tree that I was hanging from looked like it was uh, a real shallow root system. That's the only thing I could find when we set up camp. So uh, I was really hoping that one fall down, but it rock and rolled. I mean, that was the worst I ever, as far as wind, being in a hammock. Like I said, it was like uh, laying down on a roller coaster. But anyway, made it through the night. Really couldn't do anything except jam stuff in the bag as quick as we can. And as soon as we hit the trail, calm as can be. The lightest leaf isn't even moving. Alrighty then. So, I am, uh, both of us, I would imagine, she stopped to call her husband back there. But uh, we're going to go up to this next shelter take a little break get some breakfast and do our morning routine that we were robbed of this morning because it was just I'm telling you it was blowing but anyway other than that it's supposed to be nice today but you never know in the mountains I don't trust them as far as I could throw them as far as the forecasters but uh, hopefully they get something half right and at least it stays dry so uh, day 37 February uh, let me look quick February 6 day 37 uh, it's about 730 quarter of eight it was a little it was 730 when I checked it just a little bit ago but uh, like I said, all we could do is jam everything in the bags because uh, you let go of a sock, a quilt, or anything, she gone. But uh, we'll get up here to the shelter, take a break, and go from there. So if I see anything cool in the meantime, I'll let you know. Have a good Monday, good start of the week, and I'll see you in a bit.
some big mountains in the distance there. Whoo! Alright, we're on top of this mountain, looking at this mountain ridge way over there. If you look closely through the trees, those are those white rock cliffs we were at the other day. We just keep zigzagging across mountains and ridges, but that's a, that's a good ways away. Pretty neat stuff. Just did a big climb, now we're going down. We left camp this morning. And we didn't get too far down the trail. Uh, I had to do what a bear does in the woods. And uh, that gave Point Seven some time to catch up. She actually passed me and she saw my pack sitting out. But uh, we went for a couple hundred yards and we stopped at a massive boulder. There wasn't too many views right there, but there's this massive, a couple massive boulders that were perfect height. So we sat and made our breakfast and uh, made some coffee and then uh, we stopped a couple times for some of those view spots that you saw I took a picture of really neat stuff um, looks like today we're gonna get some good views so uh, we'll make sure we capture as many of them as possible and uh, see what the day brings all right guys we'll talk to you in a bit Just climbed out of Rice Gap. Nice healthy climb. And that's where we're going. So the trail, you see the blades on the tree, it's gonna take us up on the ridge. And then we're gonna follow this thing to, I guess we'll find out where we go to. That's it for now. Taking a blue blaze side trail for Hogback Ridge Selder. <clears throat> I'm gonna go take a brunch. Take a take the pack off, relax a little, get something to eat, and then figure out where we're pushing on to next. That was some good climbing coming out of the campsite to here but uh, we'll go over here and check out see what it's like around here I think tomorrow it's in the next few days we'll be out of uh, North Carolina for good and we'll be in Tennessee well, we, we're thinking three days Maybe two, depends on if we push to Irwin. But, uh, yeah, this is it. I think it's going to be like every other one. There's the bear cables. There we be. An upside down bird, a little confused. All right, everybody. I just walked down to get some water. It was uh, probably a good quarter mile one way with some switchbacks. It's like, holy smokes. Now I'm told that this privy, privy you got to check out. So I'm going to go back here and check it out. <clears throat> 
apparently there's no door on it and you can just sit there and overlook the mountain view range while you're doing your business so to keep on track with the crapolation trail we're gonna go check out this privy well there you have it yeah some people have to be told do not throw trash in there so you basically just sit on the throne and uh, that's your view pretty cool all right let me get back here to the shelter and get packed up and uh head on into uh down to sam's gap there's a viewpoint coming up uh beauty rock or high rock i forget the name of it <clears throat> but there's a a view coming up and then we go down to sam's gap and then we're just gonna go until we don't so uh we'll talk to you guys in a bit Sam's Gap, everybody. Hey now. Well, we're still sitting here at Sam's Gap. As you can see, it looks like I got a little sun. We weren't here long, but uh, as we were sitting here relaxing, we did what about, so I'll, I'll look for sure how many miles we did, but it was seven something. Um, and we're just not feeling it today. And we got a big climb here. So after several snacks and some brainstorming, we came up with, uh, we're gonna get a shuttle into Uncle Johnny's. And then uh, tomorrow we're gonna have that shuttle bring us back and we're gonna try and crack out a 25 miler without our packs. And then uh, stay at Uncle Johnny's at the end of the day and uh, go from there. Um, sounds like we got a cabin, a hiker cabin. So we're gonna stay there and um, we're gonna look into uh, either taking a lot of stuff out of our packs or see if they have any loaner packs. and. Because uh, making up that kind of miles, we're not going to really want a whole lot on our backs. But that's the game plan for now. Like I said, things can change. And uh, just like the direction of the breeze, we're sitting here. And one th second, we're getting ready to get up to go hiking. And the next second, we make some different plans. So adapt, change, and kind of looking forward to that tomorrow. So that's the game plan for now. I'll let you... Uh, see what's going on once we get to Uncle Johnny's and um, another cool thing while we were sitting here uh, this this man and woman are walking by and they said are you through hiking we said yeah he said do you like peat chicken pasta whatever some kind of pesto chicken pesto and we're like we'll pretty much eat anything at this point so he whipped his backpack out and gave us a, a peak refuel dinner um so we're gonna split that and uh he said he always carries one for through hikers i said oh that was pretty cool we thanked him and wished us good luck on our hike and um that yeah, was pretty good so i got a little trail magic so um that's the game plan for now um shuttle should be here in a little bit and take us to uncle johnny's and uh we're gonna get fueled up for a big day tomorrow and then bust try and we're gonna try like hell to bust out a 25 miler and then um 
and then uh, crash that night and go from there. So that's the game plan, and we'll talk to you in a little bit. This is the hiker cabin we're going to be staying at, Uncle Johnny's. Drew hooked us up. Nothing special, but it's cozy, dry, and under roof. We're in B. Imagine that. Really neat place. Very friendly, very helpful, highly recommend. We even got some bikes here. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's using them again. I thought he's making you wait now. <laughs> this is the view from Uncle Johnny's. Awesome. Pals it is. Okay, everybody. <clears throat> Day 37, February 6th, I think. Let me check. February 6th. Um, we did uh, seven miles today. We went from... 312.7 where we stealth camp to Sam's Gap which is 319.7 now if you're seeing the point sevens in this you're wondering why point seven has her trail name that's why um, got to Sam's Gap and we came up with a we concocted a plan so what we're gonna try and do tomorrow is go from Sam's Gap to Uncle Johnny's which is about 25 miles so we're gonna slack pack and see how far we get we got to Uncle Johnny's and we got a shuttle from Steve from Unicoi shuttles highly recommend great guy um, well he will take care of you and I don't usually plug anybody unless you get you get a good 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 service and he definitely does a good service and the same for um uncle john is drew hooked us up we're in a, a cabin uh they say it sleeps three to five uh, i don't know how that happens but we got bunk beds in here and a couch so you could probably at least sleep three if you put some on the floor i guess you could put more in here but anyway they have a bath house that has bathrooms and the shower and uh, they have a common area. I haven't checked that out yet, but they have bikes that you can use to ride to town. Um, I'm going to take a zero on Wednesday because I have some stuff that I got to take care of medical wise. I'm going to go get some blood work and stuff done from 
before I left, I had some issues. I want to make sure it was straightened out. Um, and then uh, a couple other things we need to do. But other than that, um, that's the game plan for now. Um, we're just enjoying our coffee chocolate chip Talenti. And probably wash it down with a beverage or two so we can uh, get a good night's sleep and get ready to hammer away tomorrow. I'm going to have to pack our, we got little um, backpacks to use for slack packing. So we'll get them packed up, get a shower. And um, Steve from Unicoi Shuttles is going to be here at 6.30 to pick us up. And we should be on the trail by 7 and going to have to get her. Uh, that's the game plan for now. I uh, hope you guys had a good day. Have a good night. And we'll talk to you in the morning. Hey, one more thing I forgot to add. Um, once we got... Steve brought us here from Unicoi Shuttles. And we got checked in at Uncle Johnny's. Um, we came in and unpacked some stuff. I had a supply box sent. Got some new sneakers. Trail runners. I'll probably swap them out just before we leave. And um, then we rode into town. They shuttled us into town. And we had uh, Mr. Bojangles. We had some chicken for dinner. And then we went over to the Food Lion or Food City. Yeah, food city. And we just got a couple things. Well, we wanted to only go get a couple things. But we ended up with stuff like Talenti ice gelato, frozen gelato, and a couple other little snicky snacky things. But and then uh, the shuttle driver brought us back to the hostel, and now we're just um, going through all our stuff and getting ready for tomorrow. So that's a wrap for today, and we'll see you in the morning.